Hi, this is John Brock with Brockworks, here today to coin a new phrase, 3D purchase orders. Now recently Microsoft uh, provided the ability to insert 3D models directly into Office products like Excel or Word, PowerPoint, etc. So we've long done 3D purchase orders that we call them where it would be our list of materials that we're ordered for instance, this is a roof framing package for a job that we're actually building right now. And what we would normally just take a snapshot image of the 3D model and put that in there so that our vendors get an idea of the materials or, or what we're ordering in here. Um, where, what portion of the job is this? And I'm able to pan around the model, or, or excuse me, orbit around the model. You can also um, go to the 3D model tab and you can uh, also get these sort of standardized views that are in here. Front, right, rear, left, that sort of thing, and elevation views. All right, as you hover over, you can also pan and zoom. So when you do that, this becomes a zoom button and you can zoom up, you can pan, and you can still click on this center button in here to orbit. And then that way you can get up a little tighter and you can see, okay, I've got uh, this cyan color is the two by eight by 16 uh, subfaces. I've got two by 10 by 16 raptors in this color, two by 10 by 18s in that color just to help the guys go along. So anyways, here's how it works. I'm gonna go ahead and just delete this. So what you do is you go up to insert inside of Excel and 3D models from this device. Simply choose the file and hit insert. And it only takes a couple of seconds for this to come in. It'll come in kind of small and then you can just move it to resize it to uh, fit the page. The bounding box will be uh, the proportions of the model at the time as you're orbiting. So I'm gonna set it to about like that size right there. And then again, you just click in the, this button in the center uh, to orbit around. And you'll notice the bounding box will get the same size as the current uh, form that you're looking at. So another thing we include in here is the link to the actual SketchUp model. So if I click on that, the guys in the field on their mobile devices, vendors back at the office, whichever, can have the 3D model to look at and then they got an idea of, okay, when you're working in this area, these are two by 10s by 16 for these rafters, two by eight by 10 ceiling joists, two by six by 16 for all these fascia boards, you know, two by 12 by 16 for the ridge boards, that sort of thing. So uh, carpenters love it and I love it because they're not cutting into the wrong materials for a certain area. But anyways, that's it for now and I appreciate you watching and have a great day.